Looking back on the 26 year history of Nuskin and Pharmanex, we have quite a few firsts. One of our first firsts was actually recognizing that even though we had the best personal care products out there on the market with all of the good and none of the bad, and with a focus of anti-aging ingredients, we actually needed to look at nutrition on the inside for uh, wellness and beauty on the outside. And so actually, the first name of the nutrition side of our company was Interior Design Nutritionals, realizing that we needed some products that actually helped from the inside out. Now that may not seem like a great breakthrough to you, but actually 20 or so years ago, that was really the first attempt at the concept of cosmeceuticals, realizing that beauty on the outside depends a lot on health on the inside. So our first product was Image h &S, standing for hair, nails, and skin. So we're very proud of that first, and really that's been uh, a theme that has continued throughout our history from IDN transitioning into Pharmanex. Aging is important on the outside and the inside, and we need to focus on both of those areas. Looking at some other firsts, we're very proud of our life pack. Right from the start, our life pack is actually focused not just on vitamins and minerals, which are important in aging well, but also on antioxidants and phytonutrients. So very early on, we were the first to capitalize on the importance of these nutrients that we knew went beyond just the list of vitamins and minerals, but they had effects on the body in terms of protecting it from the dangers of free radicals and the uh, rapid aging process that's elicited by free radicals. We were the first to put it into sachet so that people wouldn't need to go to the GNC or to the local um, vitamin shop and shop for all of the different things that they needed with their list. Uh, what do we need? Vitamin E, vitamin C. Uh, okay, I see eight bottles of vitamin C on the shelf. What do we need? And how much? What are the doses? What kind do we need? And so you would, before long, have a basket of things that you needed. So one of our firsts was really to have our nutrition scientists our registered dietitians, our biochemists, our doctors, look at all of the requirements from the huge uh, body of literature that's out there, determine what we need, and put all of those into one sachet that you can take twice a day. Everything worked out for you, the convenience of it all in one sachet that you can travel with. Another first that we're very proud of is actually our 6S process, which is really our standard, a very high standard, of basically applying a Western pharmaceutical strategy to the supplement world. So applying that rigor, those types of standards and standard operating procedures, including discovery and confirmation through clinical studies, applying that to the nutritional world. And that's especially powerful when you combine that with the uh, centuries of experience from the Eastern world as well. A lot of our inspiration comes from traditional Chinese medicine and other areas where for centuries they have learned the value of some of these natural ingredients that nature provides. And then applying a Western pharmaceutical approach to that in terms of uh, substantiation clinically, but also quality, batch to batch standardization, and looking at active, in active ingredients and making sure that they're the same batch to batch. So the success process is another first that we have applied to this industry and that actually distinguishes us from the others. Another really important first that we're very proud of is recognizing which nutrients are actually hard for the body to absorb. So the bioavailability of certain natural ingredients is very poor. And often, as it turns out, these are some of the most expensive natural ingredients. So for example, CoQ10 and the carotenoids, not easily absorbed by the body and they need a little extra help. It's well known that a little extra oil will help, but uh, that's not always an easy thing to do. One area that we looked at that has been very fruitful and a first in our industry is nanotechnology, where we're able to actually enrobe each particle of CoQ10 or the carotenoids in a harmless ring of glucose called the cyclodextrin that actually carries it to the wall of the gut, chaperones it there molecule by molecule and allows it then to pass through the gut with the cyclodextrin ring being broken down as a probiotic and uh, a natural fiber. So we're very excited by that because it means that we're able to put meaningful levels of carotenoids and CoQ10 in our products and uh, have them chaperoned to the body where it's needed and increase the bioavailability. Another huge first for us is the ability to measure carotenoids in the body. That of course comes with the light-based biophotonic scanning technology. So for the first time in our industry and in the world, being able to actually use light to measure antioxidants at the site of action, which is in the skin. While it may be possible to measure 
how much you're actually ingesting, or later on, how much actually gets into the blood, we feel that the most important place to measure antioxidants is in the tissue where the fight is actually going on every day with free radicals and antioxidants. The biophotonic scanner is the first technology that allows us to non-invasively measure antioxidants in the body with a one and a half minute scan in the skin. One exciting first with this technology is that it's science-based, but usually elicits an emotional response so that people are willing to change their lives, change their nutritional strategy. This is something that's much more powerful than just presenting the consumer with science or facts or figures or graphs, because that doesn't usually elicit an emotional response that's powerful enough to cause someone to change their lifestyle, to give up smoking, to lose weight, or to uh, improve their diet and supplementation. Another very exciting first is the galvanic spa. Now, while we didn't invent the galvanic spa, it's existed for decades, it's a very important way to uh, reinvigorate the skin and to use mild electrical currents to help youthen the skin and the skin cells. Now for the first time though we were able to use technology that shrinks that technology down so that the spa treatment can be done safely and effectively in your own home. Now most recently a first that we're very proud of is our understanding of the genes and gene expression and to take advantage of that understanding in applying it to anti-aging strategies. Now we're not the first to think about genes and their importance and gene expression in terms of our, our lives, but we were the first to actually be able to recognize the importance of measuring aging at the genetic level. Another really important first for new skin was our partnership with LifeGen Technology and the scientists there for the first time recognizing the importance of measuring aging at the genetic level. Without the ability to measure, we have no science. And of course, if our focus is on anti-aging, then we need to be able to measure the aging process objectively as far upstream as it happens. And in this case, you don't get any further upstream than gene expression. Now the scientists at LifeGen Technology, Thomas Proler and Richard Weindrich, actually were able to use or take advantage of the Human Genome Project, where they were able to sequence the entire human genome, and now using microchip technology compare two biological states, or the gene expression of young individuals versus old individuals. So quite simply, this technology is able to identify gene expression patterns and how they change as you age, and then screen for ingredients that actually can reset those gene expression patterns to a youthful profile. This is the first time that it's been applied in this way in a nutritional company anywhere in the world, and we're the only ones that are doing that. This is a huge breakthrough and a whole new way of looking at aging.